How's it going guys? My name is Indy. She is Vanessa. Today we're working on something I'm excited for. Your... I'm also excited, just not as excited as you are. I'm pretty excited. Which seems to be the case most of the time. I don't know. I think this one's a little different because like I'm really excited <laughs> about this one. So vague backstory. Uh, I had pretty much completely ignored the Monkey Kid line. I think you had too. Yeah. Fair, you know. Didn't really think about it. Yeah. And um, I was just kind of scrolling through the website, looking at stuff, doing my normal whatever, stare at things you want, you know? Mm -hmm. And I was like, well, let's see what's in here. And I came across, well, this, the City of Lanterns. And um, I saw it, and like, I thought it was so cool. So cool, in fact, that like, I started to watch the show. <laughs> like, honestly, you know? Um, I, just, I just really liked the colors pop really well. Yeah. Like all in all, like every kind, like every little detail is just like stuff I'm really into. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So uh, this set legitimately made me start watching mm -hmm. the show. And you know, you've watched the intro now too, mm -hmm. the whatever 45 minute quote unquote movie yeah. long episode, whatever. Um, I know technically this takes, because some of these characters aren't in where we're at mm -hmm. yet, being the operative. That's fine. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, but like I said, in general, like I just really, really like this set, so we bought it. Yeah. Started watching it. You have your Ninjago, Ninjago feelings about it. Uh, yeah, it is, it is kind of uh, Ninjago, but also like it does remind me of the marketplace, but smaller. Yeah. Which is something we're eventually gonna get. It just costs a lot of money <laughs> now. Yeah. Because it's retired and it was really cool. Yeah. And I messed up. I should have just bought it. But I didn't, as I knocked into our lights. But uh, this set is number 80036, The City of Lanterns. It has 2,187 pieces. Um, if you couldn't tell, I love it. <laughs> you think it's neat? Yeah. You know? It's very cool. Uh, on our front of the box here, we got the Monkey Kid logo, and we have the entire Sorter City display. You can see it has this really cool little Pigsy train or um, tram, maybe, mm -hmm. whichever that goes around the city. Uh, you have this really nice noodle shop up in the front with this nice golden monkey mm -hmm. kind of cruise in here. You have this really cool lobster, the dragon attached to the Lego store, the Lotus Hotel, the Panda grocery store. Um, there's just a ton of stuff like in this set, which is really cool. Yeah. I actually kind of dig Pigsy's little yeah. flying contraption. Mm -hmm. uh, it does come with Pigsy. I don't, I wouldn't really call these Mini figs, because they're not, they're just kind of like headpieces with some stuff attached. They're brick built, you know? It's fine. It's fine. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that, because I'm probably gonna do it wrong. It's got Mr. Tank, it's got May, a non named train driver who looks like, um, he looks like he'd fit really well in the hotel. Oh, yeah. You know? Uh, Han, and of course, MK himself over here, the monkey kid. So, we're gonna take a quick look at our sides. See if this is even like you know, visible because the box is kind of big. So on the side here you have MK with his little, looks like a compass, looks like he's holding a scroll, which he's also holding uh, up here on the top, trying to find this emblem that sits in the lotus. Mm -hmm. On the back, it kind of breaks down uh, the build for you. So you can see that each sort of like place <clears throat> individually stacks on this centerpiece, which is the train tracks and like the lower platform yeah and then you can see you can also kind of like rearrange those buildings that come out into more of like a street vibe you know we obviously have the back of everything here like i said the lotus hotel the panda store um you know the lego store a couple of other places which you guys will see in the build and then we have the i don't remember what the drink shop is called but there's the drink shop mr tang eating some bao uh dumplings dumplings yeah and then the uh, karaoke spot with Monkey Kid and May. Uh, other side has the same thing as the other side. Mm -hmm. Top, upside down, but you can see we have some of the characters. And we have the little, um, whatever lotus piece that is. Mm -hmm. And then, nothing too special on the bottom. Monkey Kid logo, advertisements for this website, you know. Yeah. So, we're gonna open this up. This one doesn't have the really annoying For things. once in our lives. Yeah, it's been a minute since we've actually had just like a, a tape closed one, you know? Well, I'm going to completely mess this up anyways. There we go.
Set this aside. Okay. Eight, nine. Did you find one? Okay. Some track elements. Alright. You have four? Two. There's one. Make a bunch of noise. Two. There's three. Here's four. Five, six, seven. Sorry. Uh, eight. Do you want to move seven down here? Get this nice big book out of there real quick. Shut that there. Okay, eight. Nine. 11, 12 over there, 16, 14, 15, 16, 17, and the accessories. So yeah, it's a big set, you know, has a good amount of pieces. There are 17 bags. There are, there, there's this bag that kind of comes with what looks like the stands for the uh, train tracks, the train tracks itself, and one of the larger base plates. And what do you have in the, the book? The big book. Large envelope. Yeah, very large. I think it's because of how many stickers do come in this set. They wanted to make sure like the sticker sheet didn't get uh, messed up. This set is $160. If you guys don't know, I would definitely buy six of them. I don't care because I really like it and I would like to kind of connect a million of them to it. I think it'd be fun. But I'm also kind of dumb about that. Yeah. What do we have? Okay. So we have book one, we have book two. There's only two sheets. Yeah, there's only two sheets, but there's a lot of, no, it's three sheets. Oh, is it three? Yes, yeah, three sheets. So we have the Demon Bowl King chilling here. Uh, some of the Panda Store stickers, the cute little Panda Mouth, the noodle dishes. I love the little uh, Golden Monkey mm -hmm. sunglasses. That's pretty cool. I know this is a throwback to one of the older train sets, mm -hmm. uh, the decals for it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think these ones are clear stickers. Yeah, they look clear. Yeah, they look clear. Uh, these are like the dragon scales. The Snap is also an old set, uh, an old line from Lego, which is mm -hmm. kind of cool. And then we have <clears throat> all our nice Pigsy stickers. And yeah, I don't know how many stickers it is. What's the highest number on here? 45? Nope, we're up into the 62. 62? Yeah. So it's about 62 stickers. It's a lot. Well, I'm saying that it's more than that because like, you know, sticker number 38 is four of them. Yeah. You know what I mean? But in terms of different stickers, there's uh, 62 different stickers designs. So yeah. Like that. There you go. I'll take the second book and just kind of put it off to the side for now. But um, yeah, we're gonna get into it and okay. start assembling this giant. Yes. Super cool thing.
Okay, so that is the first four bags uh, of this set. So far, I am definitely enjoying it. Uh, even though these bags, these, these couple of like starting bags are not uh, a lot of the really cool detailed buildings, you know, you're doing a lot of time. You gotta build your foundation. You do, you gotta build your foundation. You gotta do all the boring stuff <clears throat> first. To get to the fun stuff. Yes. Yes, that's fair. Uh, but on that note, we're gonna talk about some of the fun little things here. Like first off, this lantern with this hanging tassel, this is actually really cool. I really like this a lot. Yeah. Uh, it's just a really neat little feature. This is uh, a pumpkin actually. They just use the red mm -hmm. for it. Um, and, and on that, in the front here as well, we have a little menu from uh, Pigsy's restaurant. Very cute. Very cute, you know, very, very cute. And then I think you wanted to talk about our hidden guy. This feels like a He's very- the best. I'm sad to see him live in here. <laughs> Well, it feels like a very uh, half asleep Chris moment where he did his video where he's constantly singing, does it come with a Lego frog? Mm -hmm. And in homage to that, yes, Chris, this one does come with a hidden Lego frog. Yes. More <laughs> Lego frogs, please. Yeah, I, I do really enjoy the hidden Lego frogs. They're really fun. Mm -hmm. uh, but next to it, something that might be a little difficult if you guys are building this on your own. Uh, in here, there's a bunch of loose Technic pins. This is basically just a storage spot for like 12 of them. Yeah. Um, you know, to kind of connect other parts. I genuinely feel like later down the line, we'll get some more um, sets like this that will all kind of connect together. Very uh, Ninjago city gardens, yeah. markets, etc. cetera. Um, almost modular to connect everything. Mm -hmm. And I'm, I feel like that's why those are there. Yeah. Just so, you know, you guys aren't like looking at it like, why are there 12 loose pins here? Yeah. It's storage. Um, but one other thing you really got to pay attention to on this. Because I didn't. I wasn't going to call you out like that, but like you did it to yourself. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we have to embrace our mistakes. That's fine. So these guys are upside down. Yes. You're not right side up. Correct. The picture is not lying to you. <laughs> but if you do make the mistake, the stickers do come up. I had to peel the big one and put it back. And it wasn't too bad. I don't think it really affected no. the way it looks. Like, really... it, no. I it think looks, it looks fine still. Yeah, it looks okay. Yeah. You can't really tell the difference. But. But just a note for you guys. They're upside down. Now you're dropping your toes, my toes out. It's not even me doing it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just things to watch out for. Yeah, those guys are upside down. Yeah. Uh, and then kind of overall, in this section of, of the base, you know what I mean? Um, in terms of like the build, it was really interesting because there was a lot of techniques and little things that I hadn't used before. Like you have these really nice uh, pillars, we'll just call them. They're yeah, like structural supports. Yeah, definitely. Um, but like these guys here are actually flipped upside down. Like you put them in with the Technic pin on this side and then I'll actually pop this off here real quick so you can kind of see. It's definitely not what I was expecting, but these are the um, the Technic axles, but they have the back to them, so they uh, they stop at a certain point, basically, and they can only come out and go in through this direction, mm -hmm. you know? But uh, you have to actually flip these guys. It confused me for a minute, because I was like, this doesn't look right. You gotta flip these guys upside down, and then you can slot the Technic axles through them. Um, just stuff that I haven't really dealt with before. I don't build a lot of Technic stuff. Yeah. A lot of Technic stuff to me is kind of like, it's upside down now. Um, I don't know. It's it's a little. Too, I'm kind of done. It's a little too complicated for me. Too technical. Yeah, you know, it's kind of funny because I don't know. It's not that it, it it is too technical. I just don't have as much like fun building it. Yeah. You know, the outcome is nice, but like, I like seeing stuff like this more than I like seeing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, overall, it was nice because you got to use a lot of stuff that like I feel like isn't is utilized. You know. Um, yeah. Same with these little like one by but slope pieces mm -hmm. tying in a bunch of different elements you know yeah <clears throat> and like these guys here you know these technic axles going like sideways i'm just like i was putting these in here i'm like how are these gonna work and then i'm like oh okay like i see how this is all kind of working out because yeah. i didn't have them in there before and i tried to put the pin and i'm like this isn't gonna hold into anything and no it does it holds into these yeah just uh stuff to know you know same with these little like angled ones up in the front because we yeah. were assembling the front and these were like laying down here and I'm just like, I don't even know where. Yeah, what they're for. Yeah, what this is like doing, where this is gonna go. And it's just a really nice like actual support. Yeah. To like this whole thing actually feels very. Sturdy. Yeah, very sturdy, which is nice. So uh, a lot of interesting building techniques. This is another great one, these little oh, yeah, stairs. The stairs. They're on a set of grates. 
and then you just connect them all. I actually really like that. Yeah. I think it's super cool. Um, this set just uses a lot of fun little building techniques that I either haven't used before um, or like stuff I may have forgotten about, mm -hmm. you know? And that's kind of nice. Yeah. So uh, that's going to pretty much do it though uh, for this episode. We will be continuing this. It'll be a total of four. Yeah, there's... we'll be doing four bags a piece. Yeah, except, except for the last. the last one mm -hmm. because there's 17 bags total. Yeah, so we're just going to take the last one, uh, finish it out with the five bags. <clears throat> and then at the end of this, once it's all together, we'll probably do uh, like a single episode release that just kind of has the build process for you guys if you just want to watch the entire Yeah, just a long time form. Lapse. Yeah, just the time lapse, none of the excess, literally just the time lapse. Yeah. So, but, uh, you know, let us know what you guys think so far. Um, has Monkey Kid ever been on your radar? Because like I said, it definitely wasn't for me for a really long time. Mm -hmm. And it definitely is now. Um, Thank you. Yeah, no, I think it's I think it's really fun. Yeah. So let us know what you guys think. Let us know if it's something you're gonna look into, or if you don't care. By all means, tell us. It's all good. And um, I think that's about it. Yeah. So if you all wanna like like stuff and subscribe <laughs> to stuff and click things and bells. Talk to and, us about stuff. But... Yeah, like I said, tell us stuff. Give yeah. us your opinions on it. You know. Yeah. We're super down for that. But that's gonna do it, and we are gonna see you guys in the next one. Yes. All right. Bye, guys. Bye.